Bianca's former manager and lifelong friend. When I found out that she got the position as LA's producer for um, Daybreaker, I got full body chills and almost started crying and jumped up and down in excitement for her because she's probably your best candidate for this. Um, her first time asking me to hang out was, or I, the first conversation I can remember having with her was her asking me if I like to dance. Um, and I was like, yeah, who doesn't like to dance, you know, Pro thinking that she's going to get a bunch of girls together to go out to a club or something. And it's not really my scene, but no, she was like, let's wake up at 5 a.m. to do yoga at 6 and go to this thing called Daybreaker, which is a, essentially a rave at 7 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, who in their right mind does this? And not only that, but who in their sober mind does that? And it just, it, I mean, it sounded kind of cool to me. So as someone who doesn't dance and is not a morning person, somehow this girl got me to go. And she also got a couple other of our coworkers to go. And we all dressed up. It was the Halloween one. And I had one of the best mornings of my life. But that being said, um, Bianca has this energy about her and this want to create this community of friends, real friends, that do good things for themselves. I mean, it's really kind of beautiful. Um, that that's what makes her a perfect candidate for this. Because if she wants to do that within her friend group, um, I think she's going to do really great things for the Los Angeles community in general. And you guys are just giving her the platform to do something really great. She also is an incredible dancer and always has glitter in her hairline. And I never question it because I know it's from Daybreaker. Um, you guys really found a diamond in the rough as far as LA people goes. I mean, there are a lot of really good people out there. Don't get me wrong. But this one, she's a keeper for sure. Um, good luck, Bianca. You're going to kill it. Mwah. My name is Randy. And I've known Bianca for five years now. She came to live with me and my family shortly before her 21st birthday. And I've had and continue to have the honor of watching her grow. To encapsulate in a word, my favorite thing about Bianca, I would simply choose the word light. She is the embodiment of light. She lights up a room when she walks in. Her smile brightens your soul and her eyes shine with love. What do I like about Bianca? I'd say her whole being, her energy. She possesses some kind of magic that is infectious, and I'm so blessed to know her and have her in my life, and I love her with my whole heart. Now, as far as why I think she would be good for this position, well, I don't think she'd be good, I know it. And I have witnessed her grow, and meet every challenge above and beyond what is expected of her in every position she has held. Her work ethic is at the top of the scale, meeting and surpassing everyone's expectations. In short, you would be blessed and exceedingly happy to have her on your team. I love you, Bianca. Hi, Bianca. Congratulations on the position. You are way too perfect for the job. And I'm so glad that it's gonna be you uh, filling those shoes. I can't wait to come to so many daybreakers that you help put together. Uh, Cause let's see here, my favorite thing about you is I, uh, you're wicked funny, <laughs> and uh, you have a real deep heart for um, connecting to people, connecting people to each other, and uh, helping people have a. Um, helping people have an experience that is memorable and worthwhile in their life. Um, I think you're so good for this job because the, the producer of Daybreaker, I think, uh, needs to be a great community builder, but 
more than that, they need to be a great party starter. And um, the moment I met you and the moment that um, I connected to you was watching you get down on the dance floor on a boat and you are a good dancer. And it inspires other people to move in fun and funky ways. So uh, congratulations. Um, I also know that this is perfect for you because as a fellow only child, we have a deep but pleasant desperation to bring people together around us. And that's what Daybreaker is all about, bringing people together uh, in the spirit of dance and fun and connection. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Shelby. I am from Colorado and I'm a photographer. Hence, I really don't do this um, in front of the camera situation very often. So I would be lying to you guys if I wasn't sweating, but I can do this, right? We got it. Okay. So I moved to Colorado in November of 2016 and I moved out here for a job at um, an agency in Boulder. And that is where I first met Bianca. She was a food stylist at the agency. And so her and I obviously hit it off immediately for many reasons. Um, one of my favorite things about Bianca work-wise, um, she's a creative. She's very passionate about food, as am I. I personally just like to eat most of it, but she is an extremely talented pastry chef. She makes the most beautiful stuff. I'm like, how did you do that? Um, and then I just get to eat it and photograph it. But I love being creative with her. Her and I spent so many evenings in my apartment and her apartment, and we would just bake and cook and, you know, style these delicious meals and photograph them and drink and listen to music. And I knew, I was like, oh my gosh, she's going to be my best friend forever. We're passionate about working together and we love you know, being creative and being artists. And it was definitely the first time I fell in love with Bianca was when I met her. I mean, I feel like everyone has that, that same feeling. You just, you love her immediately. Um, but besides work, I mean, she, she's just magic. She makes people feel so loved and accepted for exactly who they are. Um, anytime I've ever seen Bianca when she lived here, she would hug me and embrace me and just kiss me and make me feel like the most valued person in the world. And I loved that about her. Um, I'm definitely a very affectionate person as well and love affection. And she just, she's great. Um, she's also a very independent woman, which I have appreciated throughout our friendship because we understand each other's space and we know when each other needs a snack um, and she's, she's so strong and she's strong willed. She is a natural leader, which is why I think she's going to be perfect for this job. Um, I'm very jealous of you guys in LA, by the way, I miss her. Bianca, I miss you every day, but I'm very proud of you. And I hope, you know, I will always support you near or far. Um, the people in Colorado do miss you guys though. And by you guys, I mean Bianca. But maybe we miss we miss the group too. I mean, I, I'll meet you guys one day, okay? Um, I was gonna show you guys. So obviously, over here, I have um, some you know pictures and Polaroids and stuff. So I have the first picture Bianca and I have ever taken together, which is quite a gem. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, this was at a <laughs> um. 90s like brunch party and I drank so much champagne that day that I ubered home and went to bed at five o'clock and woke up the next morning for work so very drunk um and this is the last picture of Bianca and I before she moved um we were at this someplace it was for work. She It was when she worked at Cured or something. But I love these two pictures. It just is, um, I don't know. I love that it's like the first and last picture we have together. More pictures to come when I come visit you guys, okay? Um, but yeah, I love her. I keep her on my wall. I miss her so much. Um, but yeah, we've traveled to Europe together. Um, I always tell people that my three drunkest nights of my life have been 
with Bianca. Um, I don't know what I would do without you, B. You are so amazing and I hope this job brings you so much joy and happiness. I know it will. And I know these people love you probably just as much as I do. Maybe not. I love her the most. Okay. Um, but yeah, I love you, B. Testing, testing, one, two. So why Bianca's wonderful? She is both woman and wolf. She is possibly the most beautiful, inspirational, life-changing, magical, glittery piece of magical human being that I have ever had the pleasure of meeting. Um, if the world was burning down and I could grab one thing, I'd probably, probably grab a Bianca. Um, I met Bianca at a very pivotal point in my life and um, she reminded me of what it is to be alive, to be wild and free, to be myself really. Um, shit how blessed I am to have crossed paths with her in this lifetime and um, I know without a doubt every single person who has met the, this youngest one of who I speak of um, would share my sentiments and I am sending this video all the way from South Africa and although I don't get to see her as often as I would like or speak to her as often as, as our busy schedules um, should permit I I honestly, truly, truly can say that she is the most beautiful, beautiful, amazing, inspirational fucking piece of magic that I've ever met. And I'm so, so, so blessed to have crossed paths with her. And um, yeah, that's Bianca in a nutshell. You guys know what I'm talking about because I'm sure you've all already met her. Much love from South Africa. Hello, my name is Levi Donovitz and this is my tribute to Bianca Swanepoel. My favorite thing about you, B, I would have to say, is how much you like to explore. When we were young, you came and stayed with us here in South Africa, and I remember you would just throw together the weirdest combinations of sweet goods, and I would just eat everything. Absolutely anything you made, I would flatten it. And to watch you grow has been such a privilege, because you really showed such a passion to explore food. You know, your food photography is amazing, and all the things that you cook up really look delicious. I would flatten everything. Um, so yeah, and it's also you explore the world, the people around you, you have such a diverse group of friends. Um, you've been all over the planet. You know, you really do like to get, put yourself out of your comfort zone. And that's always something that I've admired about you. And if I actually say why wow, Bianca is perfect for any role, is that you really did help me through the hardest time of my life when my father passed away you were there for my mother and i'll never forget that how much you did for her to help us through i couldn't be there with her when it happened and you know when it comes down to it you're always there for those that need you and i think that's what makes you perfect for any role and i thank you for that we miss you this out hello david breaker greetings from colorado my name is marcus um i met Bianca Swanepoel about three plus years ago now, going on there, how time flies. Um, we were working at different jobs, uh, mutual friends, we had kind of crossed paths, but then she got a job as the event coordinator, um, appropriately, uh, at the cheese shop that I was working at. So we got to do a lot of different events together. Um, She's just an incredibly passionate person about whatever she puts her mind to. She is incredibly connected with people too and really cares about the connections that she makes and holding the connections and really supporting the community that she's in, um, which makes her perfect for this job. Um, always goes the extra mile and always is there um, if needed and supported. Um, she's always my person to call when life advice, uh, you know, any other career kind of questions I have, she's always there to support me. Um, my good decisions, you know, and helps me through the, the poor ones that we all make in life. Um, I know she's very excited to do this job and I'm very proud of her and she's gonna do a fantastic job. Um, she's got the background in the hospitality world. She's a great pastry chef too. So um, maybe so she can make some of you some cookies or something. 
Um, but she's gonna do a fantastic job and I am just extremely excited and proud of her for what she's doing. And um, yeah, have a good day. Hey love, babe, I'm so proud of you. I am so excited for you on this new uh, chapter of your life. Um, I just love you. And I love that you're always in search for the adventure, the magical. I remember last year I was like, um, do you wanna go to Pride? And you were like, fuck yeah. And we went and it was so much fun. We had a blast, we freaking danced all day. And it was just like, it was magical and it was so fun. And that's what you bring, love. Like you bring the, the spirit of, of just joy and laughter and, and fuck it, why not? Like I love that you're always down to do things and to have fun and um, yeah, I'm just so proud of you and so excited for you and uh, I love that you went to Bali by yourself and you called me from there and you were like, this is amazing. And um, yeah, I just love you and I'm so proud of you. Uh, you're like a little sister to me and I adore you. And um, I don't really know what else to say other than I'm excited for you and this new chapter and how perfect you are for this job. You introduced me to Daybreaker. So I will always remember that. And Daybreaker, you are lucky to have her. Um, all right, guys. Mwah. I love... I am so happy that I get to do this. Um, wow, what a wild ride it has been with you in my world from meeting you, bartending, uh, I don't know, years ago, 2015, 2016, to witnessing you follow your dreams all the way to LA and then to Southeast Asia, and now having your dream job with Daybreaker. I am so happy for you. Um, it's wild to me to think of all the different touchstone points that we've had in our lives of talking about following our dreams, living our dreams, and I see that in you and the true testament of you trusting that your dreams were always going to be there for you um, when you found out about this job and you still stay true to your heart knowing that you had to travel. And I think that these are some of my favorite things about you, you know. You're adventurous, you're fun, you're so fun. Um, there's never a dull moment when you're around and it's always something that is inspiring to me to watch you grow and to watch you live life the way you do and continues to be effortlessly creative and I adore that about you. Um, so in, in, uh, in lieu of how inspiring you are to me, um, I thought what better way to celebrate you than to write you a tiny little tribute, um, so hold on with me. Oh shit, here we go, we can do this. <laughs> Technical difficulties. This is a story about a girl named Bianca. Early morning, she wakes up because it's time for Daybreaker. Forgive my voice. It's time for glitter. Dressing up. It's you there all waiting for. They go, is she lovely? This LA, Denver, South African girl. <laughs> and they say she's a lucky. She's a star. And that's it for now. Um, thank you for inspiring me. That song came to me this morning and I was like, that's the one. And, um, I hope you enjoy it because it was challenging for me. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. Mwah. Congratulations. The thing about Bianca is that she is genuine and she's willing to connect and she just has such a great heart. Um, I met Bianca when we were doing a yoga teacher training in Bali, and I had been coming off of a rough couple of years, really, and I was um, looking to have an experience where I could just really meet kind, um, kind people, and Bianca was the first one that said hi to me when I came to breakfast that first morning at our retreat, introduced herself, asked me my name and who I was and my story. Um, and she was just so easy to love and connect with um, immediately. And for me, that was uh, 
that was different because I typically am an observer and it, it takes me a minute to kind of let my guard down and connect. But um, it was it was just really easy and safe with Bianca. I think that Bianca's perfect for the role at Daybreaker because she is a free, untethered spirit and she's a mover and a shaker and she has um, an awareness that um, for people and for things that need to get done, um, so much so that I've also asked her to collaborate on um, a project of my own. Um, and that's really the best recommendation that I could give her is that I want her to be part of um, things that I'm working on and would, you know, recommend her to help execute the vision um, of other projects, uh, especially to connect with people and um, bring that sense of well-being into into a room because she lives it as well. And uh, I think she's perfect. Bianca Swanepoel, where to begin with this lady, huh? Her and I met back in South Africa when we were 13, 14 years old, right before we started high school. I instantly knew this lady was going to be my friend for life. Her zest for life, her soul, her passion, her enthusiasm, just everything about her was completely out of this world and it was like nothing I'd ever known. I just recently had her as a bridesmaid in my wedding and the wedding just absolutely would not have gone on without her. I'm so incredibly lucky to have her on my side, just as you at Daybreak should, have, should be lucky to have her on your team. Just from what I know here living in Texas about Daybreaker, I know that there's going to be nobody on your team that's going to inspire her to move her body, to love, to love yourself, to love others, to just, you know, live life to the fullest more than what she is. I'm incredibly proud of you, Bianca, and I'm so lucky, so, so lucky that we're friends 11 years later. I love you. Hi, I actually met Bianca. As my student, she took the yoga teacher training here in Bali, Indonesia, and she just had such a spark, so much passion, such a free spirit. Um, she was always so positive and really just eager to learn, eager to share her ideas, her passions. Um, and she introduced us to this sober rave um, I had no idea that was a, a community, but um, she seemed really passionate about it, um, doing things sober, living a really healthy, nice, natural lifestyle, um, and that really fits in with the yogic side of things. It goes hand in hand. Um, so it's really nice to see her bring her two passions together, you know, dance and free spirit with yoga and living a clean life. Um, so I really think that you know, our journey together was meant to be, and I wish her the best and hope she gets everything she loves, she needs, she deserves. Mwah. Hey, Daybreaker fam. I'm here to talk about Bianca, my dear, dear friend who I love very much. Um, this woman is, has made such an impact on my life in just one short year, and I'd have to say the biggest thing, the most amazing thing I find in this human being is that her desire and passion for adventure I share that passion and I feel like it's it's in, it's intoxicating from her and she wants to just take everybody that comes in her path for a fun, happy, carefree, loving adventure and I've, it's been just that knowing her. Um, I think that she would be amazing for this role and really any role within the Daybreaker fam because when she, she is passionate about something, she spares nothing in its path. She will do her absolute 120 percent best at anything she does and her her happiness and just her her good vibes are so so addicting and and I just I love being around her so she would do amazing in this role um, and you, would, you folks would just be lucky to have her I love Bianca all right thank you so much so Bianca and I met working at a restaurant in LA together um, we only had a few shifts together but it didn't take us long to figure out that we were soul sisters. And since then we've sort of kept in touch here and there uh, over our various travel journeys and just happened to meet in LA around the same time that a daybreaker was on. And she invited me along and given my nomadic lifestyle, um, I didn't actually have the funds at the time to come along, but Bianca was so 
enthused about me coming along and so sure that it was going to be such a great experience for me that she had just decided that she was going to pay for my ticket and I was coming and that was it. I think this is a real indicator of the person that she is. Um, not only such a strong advocate for Daybreaker, but just like her kindness and generosity and her belief in, I guess, um, the circular nature of that, giving and receiving. Um, she's such a beautiful soul and I'm so lucky to have you in my life, Bianca. Um, this is the perfect role for you and keep spreading that light that you share. Um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you soon. Lots of love. Hi everyone, I'm Jax, I'm Bianca's mom. Firstly, I wanna congratulate her on her new position as producer of Daybreaker LA. I'm so excited for her and I think this could not have come at a better time in her life. Um, she is uh, so creative and so passionate and dedicated about what it is that she gets involved in and her, she has impeccable work ethic and I think that um, this is going to be a wonderful thing for her and it's um, about growth it's, and helping the community and growing the community and this is, this is going to be fabulous. Uh, Bianca is, gosh, when she walks into a room and flashes that smile and opens up her presence to the whole room, it just lights up and touches everybody and everybody just loves her and has the most wonderful things to say about her. When I go into her work, everybody's like, oh, you're Bianca's mom. God, she's the greatest. We just love her. And it just, you know, it just really makes me so proud to hear these things of my child when I go to her work. And uh, you guys have a great team member, for sure.